process night for you? Just, just really seem to be feeling it right from the get go. Uh, yeah, I thought, you know, I thought we got a couple lucky ones. I think the first one's a little lucky. Nuge makes a great play on one. Um, Nuge makes a good play on a couple. So, um, yeah, playing with some good players, obviously, and um, tonight was a good night. How would you describe kind of what mode you guys clicked into into that third period? Because it just something just fired there. Yeah, we didn't like our obviously we didn't like our second period. I thought first period we did a lot of good things. Um, second period was just not not what we want to do. Uh, we gave up numerous chances, numerous odd man rushes. Forward's not doing a good job coming back. You know, D men pinching at, at at strange times. I thought Stu bailed us out big time in the second period, and we were fortunate to be tied. And um, I thought we did a good op good job of just grabbing it, um, just turning our work rate up, simplifying a lot of the cliche stuff, but stuff that works. Obviously, a team effort there in the third period, but take us through that play on the spin around by Dave Vander Kane. Uh, yeah, uh, I was coming off the bench and uh, Ben makes a play. He's, he's he's been playing great, standing um, and uh, turning pucks over, and he just kind of he made a great play, pat, a quick up and. I had a lot of speed and just tried to make a play. I tried to cut inside, and the D-man played it well and bounced it back outside and threw it there. And Kaner uh, was a great goal scorer. He's always at the net. Did you expect to dive through the crease from Holloway? No, that was a little scary, but I saw him coming last second. Holler's a little bit like a, a bull in a china shop sometimes, but you got to go to the net hard, and, and um, you know he got rewarded there. That was a huge goal for our group and, and got us going. Connor, it looked like um, you mentioned that second period you didn't like it. It's been a while since your team's been that loose and, yeah. and sloppy. Anything you can attest to? Is that just going to happen every now and then? Or what do you, what do you feel went wrong? This well, I think we've done a great job of, of playing solid defensive hockey for uh, a large stretch here. Um, I thought it got away on us big time tonight. Um, and like I said, Stu bailed us out. Um, just so many odd man rushes, chances, great A's, breakaways. Um, I thought our D-men did a great job playing two-on-ones as well. Mercy with a big slide, and, um, a lot of yeah, a lot of desperation, but it shouldn't have to be. It shouldn't have to get there. Can you talk about a guy, Cody Cece, obviously not here to score goals, but he said no one really bugged him. It's been a long, long time, 127 games. Nice <laughs> to see a guy like that score. Um, I think the last time he scored was Game Seven uh, mm -hmm. against LA. That's uh, was it? Okay, well, two, you know, two ga in uh, Game Two of. Like last October. Oh, okay. Well, I remember his game seven goal the most. So um, <laughs> that was a huge goal. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's here to uh, to be a solid um, solid D man, and he's but he's done that um, ever since he's been here. Um, him and Mercy make a great pair and pitch in with a goal every now and then. It's it's a great thing. Um, but like I said, that's not what he's here for. But we're we're definitely happy for him. Into that third period too, and it seems like a couple of them that, that kind of work. Mm. You notice that from Chris a little here and there. Yeah, he's got a great feel for the game. Um, you know, he's a calm, calm presence on the bench. I think you guys can see that. And um, you know, but tonight he was a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously wasn't loving where the game was going. Um, you know, none of us were. So sometimes you need to tweak it a little bit. And I thought. Uh, his little tweaks worked, and, and uh, that's a sign of a good coach. You guys had mentioned when he first got hired guys as a coach from forces, you're not afraid to, you know what, he'll show his, his disappointment at times. Hasn't mm. obviously had a lot of case like that, but mm. tonight seemed like if, if there was a mistake made, he was not afraid to pull guys, switch them lines really quick. Yeah, good he, to get players' attention like that, do you think? Well, of course you need that. You need, you need that uh, accountability right now and then, especially from your head coach. Um, you guys might not see it all the time, but he's he's he does a great job of keeping guys accountable. Um, you know, nobody liked the second period, and, and obviously he would um, say the same. And um, you know, he changed it when he felt like it maybe needed a change. And um, you're going to get that out of your head coach, and um, thought it was good.